We are a country of 1.2 billion people. We look different from each other, speak different languages and follow a variety of traditions. Where did we all come from? To address this question, let us go to Africa, where the oldest human fossils known so far have been discovered. From there, humans have migrated to different parts of the world and established different populations. However, there is no proper record of these migrations. So scientists took the help of DNA to solve this mystery. DNA is a chemical molecule called deoxyribonucleic acid and is present in all our cells. It goes from one generation to the other. Since all the present existing populations have come from the oldest population in Africa, our DNA shows some similarities to the African DNA. No surprise there, but DNA is not a static molecule. It is made up of four building units called adenine, thymine, cytosine and guanine and its composition slowly changes with time. A unique DNA composition shows up in a population when it separates itself from others and starts breeding among themselves. But comparing our DNA with each other, we can predict how far away our roots are. A greater similarity means closer ancestry. Not only that, the number of differences in the DNA of two populations also estimates how long back the two populations separated from each other. This understanding helps us in finding out the ancestry of Indians. Dr. Lalji Singh and Dr. Kumaraswamy Thangaraj, scientists at the Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology, took up the challenge. They took blood and saliva samples as sources of DNA from people in various parts of India. They compared these DNA among each other and with the oldest human fossils found in Africa. Their studies find that two waves of migrations happened from Africa to India. The first one happened around 65,000 years ago. The people who came then populated the South India and went further to the Andaman Islands. They are called the ancestral South Indians. The second population from Africa came to India via Middle East and populated the North India. They are called the ancestral North Indians. But do not mistake the ancestral South and North Indians with the current South and North Indians. The ancestral South and North Indians intermixed with each other. You and I and all the Indians around us are largely a result of that intermixing. So, someone around you might think that they are different because of their caste, religion, language or region. Tell them that they need to look into the details of their DNA. They will find that we come from the same ancestors. Presented to you by CSIR CCMB CSIR Jigyasa Supported by Department of Science and Technology and National Council of Science and Technology Communication To know more about CSIR CCMB's work, please visit www.ccmb.res.in